Hello and welcome to another Fleet Signal video. My name is Alex and today I'm going to take a look at the Firestorm Planetfall core rulebook. I'm going to take a flick through the book and show you what it looks like on the inside and on the outside as well. So let's get started. Um, this is what the book looks like on the front cover, what the front cover looks like. Um, Firestorm Planetfall core rulebook, Spiling Games and a picture of a Leviathan. And on the back it looks like this, um, you know, more photography, um, a bit of blurb to show to tell you what Planetfall is, um, Spartan Games, blah blah blah, barcode, all that kind of stuff. So let's go inside, and here we have a picture of a Leviathan and some credits as well. Um, it's nice that they've mentioned um, the Spartan Games community, the online community, which you know offered lots of comments and stuff on you know on Planetfall. Um, you know, in the in the long months to to its release, um, and it's also nice that um, Alex Mann, who you might know as Spartan Alex, gets a credit in the book, and also his son Oscar Mann. That's that's quite a nice touch as well. So there's the credits. Here are the contents of the book. Um, much like the Firestorm Armada book, the contents are actually color coded. So you can see the Firestorm Planet Four Galaxy has this kind of blue. Um, hex border on on the sides and if you flick to another part of the book like say movement segment that's purple so that's in the purple sequence of play so much like the Firestorm Armada book it's color coded so you can flick to the right part of the book that you need to go to so that's all the contents the Firestorm Planet 4 Galaxy it's called that for some reason instead of the Firestorm Galaxy the basics sequence of play combat the aftermath appendices and an index and also some tokens and templates at the end so this shows you what is Planetfall, what is Planetfall all about, the galaxy in which um, you know everyone's fighting in, because remember people coming to this game might not have played Firestorm Armada, so there has to be some explanation of what you know, what are all these factions fighting about, what are they fighting for. So just a little bit more fluff on the galaxy, and here we have um, the start of the faction section, so uh, here we've got the Aquam Prime, the Bakash. It's nice that the um, the alliance races are being included in this section as well in the main rulebook. Um, the Dendrenzi, the Directorate, Hawker Industries, the Rothosa. Some nice Rothosa models there. The Rent System Navy, aka RSN. Um, Cerulean's Cerulean Collective. The Turkai Empire with a really nice orange um, paint scheme. I really like that paint scheme. Um, the Terran Alliance, the Vaidrith and Works Raptor, with some Works Raptor models there. And then we go on to game basics. What do you need to play Firestorm? Um, measuring, pre measuring, you know, you can pre measure anytime for any reason in Planetfall. And, you know, what the markers mean, uh, models and basing conventions, all that kind of stuff. Um, activation markers, this tells you what all the templates in the game do. General principles of dice, and also how Firestorm um, Planetfall uses the three different colors of dice as well: black, blue, and red. And then just more stuff about game basics. You know, um, opposed tactics test, measuring to models, alternating activations. Planetfall is a game of um, I activate my my squadron, you activate your squadron, I activate my squadron, and so on. Height bands and height levels, arcs uh, of fire and line of sight. Um, arcs are really important in this game. If you can get to the side or behind your, your opponent's models, that's, um, that's really important. It does more damage that way. Um, so here we have the model profile, and this tells you how to read a model profile in Planetfall. What do all the numbers and different things mean? And more stuff on the model profile with the different um, weapon Ma, that's model assigned rules um, icons. More stuff on the model profile. And here we have some Terrans along with the pre-game sequence. What happens before a game starts? So you know, you agree on what size of table you're gonna play on, how big your forces are gonna be, um, place objectives, all that kind of stuff. And then here we have the MFV or um, maximum fleet value for each, you know, each force. So you can see 3,000 points or less is, a, is suggested to be played on a 4x4 table. 
3001 to 6000 points, 6x4, 6001 to 9000 points, an 8x4, and 9001 and above is Commander's Choice. So more stuff on the pregame sequence. Even more stuff on the pregame sequence, including some, some nice artwork there. And then we go on to some, well, this is still pregame sequence with some Aquans. And now we go on to building a force. And Firestorm Planet 4 uses a, um, a so called helix map style of force building. So this tells you all about how to, how to build your, your Firestorm Planet 4 army. Tells you the racial packs, which is a nice touch actually. A lot of people wonder when they first come into Firestorm, you know, what is the Alliance of Korak? What is the Xenian League? You know, which faction's part of which? So, you know, it tells you. So, more stuff about building a force. More photography on the side there. Orbat special rules. Orbats are essentially the um, the PDFs that are available on the Spartan Games website. Um, that, you know, are basically the stats um, for each, each force. And here we have an example force using Aquans and Turkai. Then we go on to tactical action cards, which are tax. Um, these cards let you do things to, you know, to either your forces or your opponent's forces during the game and kind of spice things up a bit. And you can buy them back to reuse again at cost. And here we go on to the basic sequence of play, the color changes on the side. And this is basically a game turn. Um, so it tells you all about how, you know, the game turn actually works. Some nice little Thosa picks there. Models, I should say. Um, so, movement segment. Um, withdrawing from the battlefield. Disembarking from a vehicle or exiting a building. You can go in and out of buildings in this game. Focus fire, overwatch. You can put models into overwatch. And then we go on to terrain. Um, you know, terrain types. Um, infantry occupying terrain features. What happens when infantry actually goes into terrain. Notes on using terrain, and there's a kind of a table here that tells you about all the different um, terrain types and what their effects are on models and battlefield and so on. Then we go on to sky drops, portals, and artillery attacks. Um, more stuff about sky drops, more stuff about sky drops and artillery and so on. Then we go on to disorder. You know, how do you take a disorder test? When do you need to take a disorder test? Disorder markers, all that kind of stuff. And now we go on to CQB, close quarters battle. You know, what are close quarters battle weapons and you know how does close quarter how does CQB work? Storming CQB engagements. So you know, storming a building and all that kind of stuff. Leviathan CQB because it works a little bit different for Leviathans, the big robots. Then we go on to the main ordnance segment, which is basically firing firing main cannon, firing your weapons. And there's a nice um, little chart here of what are light class, armored class, elevated class, flying class, all the different types of models in the game. So that's quite nice. So more artwork there, more um, stuff about the main ordnance segment. Compile AD pools, resolve firing action, blah blah blah. Firing consolidation, flank and aft bonuses. Lots of stuff here about main ordnance because, well, shooting guns is a, you know, a big part of the game, obviously. And then we go on to the end phase. Um, you know, well, how 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 do you score objectives and things like that? And also here it tells you how to win the war, how to win a game of Fire of Firestorm Planet Four. What do you need to do to win? And winning the war there, and then we go on to model assigned rules, the Mars, which are um, rules that are assigned to you know weapons and models and stuff. So um, that's all the Mars explained. Lots of models and weapons have Mars in Firestorm Planetfall, as they do in Firestorm Armada as well. So uh, yeah, this is telling you all about the Mars. Here we have a quick play guide, um, which. Yeah, as, as it says, it's basically all the stuff you need to know to, you know, all, all this, like a quick reference sheet, basically. Stuff you need to know to play the game on one sheet. And it's on the other side as well. Hopefully Spartan will make that um, a PDF at some point on the website. 
So you can you know, actually print it out and have it next to you as you play. And then we go on to Firestorm System Wars. And this is basically um, Spartan's kind of thing about linking Armada and Planetfall. They're really kind of um, enthusiastic. You know, they've designed Planetfall to tie into Armada. So you could play a game of Firestorm Armada and then like, you know, the, the, um, the forces drop to a planet and then you fight out the battle on the planet in Firestorm Planetfall. So, you know, you're not, you're, not as, you're not meant to play the two games like that as such, but you can play them and Spartan kind of encourages that kind of linked play. So this is just a little bit of information about Firestorm System Wars and the PDFs are going to be on the Spartan Games website that will tell you all about how to, you know, how to link games and play campaigns using two games and so on. And finally we have an index, which is always handy for a rule book. Some tokens and templates, so it here tells you what all the uh, different tokens do. And there are some, te that's the template sheet that you get in Core Helix boxes, Battle for Protoss Prime, um, and so on. So, you know, if you, if for, for any reason you don't actually have a template sheet, um, you can photocopy this or download it from the Spartan Games website once it actually appears there. And same for the templates as well. Um, don't cut up your rule book. You know, either photocopy this. You should already have this if you have a core, core helix box or the starter set. But you know, just in case, it's provided here. And then we get to the back cover. So that is the Firestorm Planetfall core rulebook. Hopefully, that's given you a good look at what the rulebook looks like, both on the inside and on the outside. Um, as always, give this video um, a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how you felt about it. And if you don't subscribe yet, then you know, why not consider subscribing to stay up to date with videos that are posted on this channel. And also don't forget to check out Fleet Signal on social media and check out fleetsignal.com as well. Okay, that's about it for this video. Until next time, see ya.